Today I want to talk to you about how to set up and organize your home office. Hi, I'm Lisa Hurler with Lisa Organizes. I help you live a life with less clutter so that you can focus on things that truly matter. So most of us have been stuck at home um, due to COVID-19 and I'm wondering if you've been able to set up an efficient home office so that you can be productive and inspired. I've had a home office for since 2000 and what I find there's three elements that help create a home office. One is a workspace that will hold your current or active files with daily supplies. Two is a file cabinet and three is storage. So, you know, at I, I try to find a place that you can be comfortable in um, so that you're actually sitting straight up and you're not going to have aches and pains by the time you're done working. Um, I know some of us for temporary, hi Mary, some of us temporarily are set up maybe in our um, dining room, some people are in your kitchen, others are in the basement, but you know um, the most um, things that I look for is an area that's not going to give you distractions because you know let's face it when we work at home you have to be disciplined and discipline is getting away from distractions so when I was looking hi Sue so when I was looking to uh, set up when I originally started that long ago my kitchen wouldn't do it I'd want to do the dishes or if I'm in the dining room I'd want to you know dust or in the basement I would do the wash so whatever or wherever you decide to have that area to set up for a home office office it, it you need to be disciplined no matter what um, I'm also the type that you know when I was working um, downtown um, or corporately I should say I hated it when they had the whole world decide hi Laura when I when they had the whole world decide that they can go to the office in like pajamas okay I'm one that that I just believe that when you, how you come is how you work. And so I'm pretty routine. I do, I do the same thing every day I get up and I'm ready to conquer the world when I'm, when I'm dressed. And I, and I work a whole lot more efficiently when I do that. So um, we used to have, um, you, you used to when you would go to get or pick out a desk for a workstation, they would have to be large, you know, they were L-shaped because we had all kinds of computer equipment. In fact, I have a picture because 20 years ago when I first uh, um, became a single mom, I was looking for a unit to put in, I just had an area of my bedroom um, in the basement to do. And so I found this unit and as you can see, this unit has, um, a flat space for my work area it had files on the other side it had for the tower and up on top you can put the printer which was awesome because it gave me not only um, room for my computer but it also had room for me to do projects okay um, where I had enough space um, now my husband on the other hand all he needs is just a I'm hoping you can see this um, the only thing my husband needs and still does is just a work surface to put his computer and as you can see he's got a desktop. I use a laptop. I've always had to be mobile and he doesn't. So he didn't even need like really any kind of drawers or any file cabinets because he likes to just read and have room for his for his books. So the home that I'm in right now actually had two areas open and we were able to just throw both um, both desks in them to uh, work separately and we both liked it. I mean it just worked. But once as time moved along and we didn't have to have all the wires that we did before we upgraded and so recently as I changed careers um, I had hired a company to come and I was able to tell them and show them how many um, shelves I wanted and how many uh, file cabinets I wanted so for mine I had everything contained on the same area but I'll tell you that the thing that keeps it uncluttered though is I have my work surface all free of clutter and paperwork because I have all all the spaces around that actually you can that I can file everything hey Donna how are ya so now my husband on the other hand he doesn't need any file cabinets still he didn't need any any kind of um, even a drawer to put his things in and so this is what his came out to be I'm hoping you can see it okay is just the work area and all his books all over so together how they did this for me is both of us side by side and we absolutely love our work area I think that's important to love it because it should be a happy place you spend a lot of time there so what I think the biggest mistake is that people 
have a cluttered workspace because they decide to take all of their supplies and put it right where their workspace is. All their pens and their paper and their pads and even books and things, you know. Everything needs a place and that place should not be on your workstation, on your desk, okay. So one active project should be at a time on your on your workstation, okay. What I just did in, with a client recently is we got um, clear plastic file folders and what that did was that allowed because if you know if you're a type that has two or three projects going at the same time you can put it in the clear um, file folders and then you can put that aside and only have the project the active project that you're working on they even came color-coded these things that I'm telling you are right on Amazon and they were in different sizes and it was just something that was so cool because like I said I like to come to my area and have it be in order so that I, I can find things okay um, another thing is your reference materials those are things that we don't usually use every day and so that's something that you want away from your work station so if you've chosen whether it's temporary or permanent um, an area that might have a closet in it and it's a, a hanging closet that's very easy to change you can take out the pot you can take out the bar and just put in shelves and then that can store all your you know like the extra um, uh, tech gadgets and all your extra bulk supplies okay so um, Wi-Fi 2 has been a great uh, freedom thing for us when it comes to um, setting up an office because like my printers on the other side of the room and my file cabinets don't have to be right by me especially because like our references are mostly on the internet where we're just using even a phone or our iPad and not very big you know not very big equipment anymore so that we can use our workspace better um, than we ever did before. Um, if you're one that doesn't like file cabinet, period, they now have different cabinets that you can actually put bins in because uh, maybe that's how your business is or maybe even at home because you use a home office, right, that you can use uh, both a work surface and then have bins. So let me show you a few of the things that I found, okay. One is this is like a really neat throw-in uh, type desk. It just has one drawer, but what the uh, what they re recommended, this was on Pinterest that I found, was that you put this under a window because, again, it should be a happy place and something that you look out and feel good about where you're at. So that was a really quick, not very expensive type thing to get for a home office. This too, this is something simple, um, very easy to put on any little wall space that you have and it's got two file drawers in it. And so that helps as well. You have that clear workspace along with a little bit of area to put your files in. Now this work area was something my mom used. She was a salesperson when she decided to work at home. This was a corner unit and it worked out really well in my mom's kitchen and her happy spot was to look out the window where her lake was and it's worked out really neat. It had a little bit of storage and it's got a shelf or um, a drawer in the middle of that desk. And finally, this one I found was so neat because it's got a work surface to the right and then all kinds of bins and things that you can use to store um, to keep your workstation tidy and all in one space, all in one place. I thought that was just kind of neat. So if you're a type that just um, has all kinds of files and it's not fitting just in two drawers, you might want to think about how much you can get rid of, okay? So there's two different ways we can start doing that now to get rid of the paperwork again. I have what's called um, Genius Scan on my phone. It is a free app that I used uh, when I went to Florida to do a job um, and it uh, some of the scanners, as you know, you can put um, paperwork through and it's se several different pages and a lot of different paperwork to, to file digitally. This, on the other hand, keeps all the paperwork in one file and then you can start by digitizing your files by by filing that once it's scanned into Dropbox or into Google Docs. Um, and that's just something that I've started doing for clients so that they don't have all the paperwork because then my next thing that I have is a um, shredder. I have it on the floor, I can't get to it. But my shredder I have, um, and this is up to you too, mine will shred 10 papers together. Um, mine will shred a credit card of, of sorts. 
so um, that you can get rid of that readily without it getting it burned up and it automatically shuts off. So that's one thing I have in my home. But when I go to a client, there's a few um, places that you can go. I know when I went to Florida and I did my mom, she had four big bags of uh, items that needed to be shredded. Um, she didn't want to do it herself and so we called Office Depot and they had two different options that you can take um, that was kind of reasonable and that's what we ended up doing. And again, it's your, it's your um, level of comfort that you feel about where your uh, paperwork is. So some people like it to be um, someone come to the house and do it in your front yard, which they do. I think Centus is one of them. Um, there's a few of them online. I would look them online. Um, but again, those are your more expensive things to be shredded. Um, to get it out of your house. Um, I also found as I was doing um, research for doing this presentation, there is what's called an identity theft protection stamp. Um, that would eliminate all kinds of shredding because I know when I did for another client, they just didn't want their name and address on anything, so they wanted everything shredded. And so you can take the stamp and put it on anything and then just throw the paperwork away. And you're saving all that money on shredding and time takes a lot of time to shred as well when you have things so the, the stamp works really wonderful and I think it was like $10 on Amazon so again you look that up it's identity theft protection stamp which I think is is just a wonderful new tool that they have out there um, I don't know about you but I like to have everything put away at night I don't like stacks of paper and I certainly like to come and just start a new day with everything put away so that and not only put away but I like to find things in less than five minutes so that's what I like to do for my client when I come and help them set up for a for a home office is having the, the ability to do that and I will come and I will set up um, a bill pay I will scan the documents I will shred the documents I will organize the documents and um, anything else on your desk and find different areas to set up a home office that will be convenient for you that you will feel good about and it can be a happy place so I hope I've given you some good information where you get inspired uh, for setting up a home office. And if you and if you don't want to do it yourself and you need help, go to LisaOrganizes.com and I can certainly help you with that. So I thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Take care.